Good morning. I am Cecil and Blues. Thank you for joining me for this Wildstar Guide. Today we are collecting the journal entries for the Dominion Zone Auroria. There are 24 journal entries in this zone. This guide will cover their location, but not their contents. We're going to start in the Bingberry Orchard. On the roof, you will find the first journal entry, Mama's Family. Our next entry is also in the Bingberry Orchard. You will find this in a bucket of produce next to the Gravitonic Destabilizer. And the journal entry is Gravitetic Destabilizer Manual. Oh, that word. Next, let's move on to High Crest. Inside the High Crest Barracks, you will find sitting on this table Alchemist Pont. Tinia's Plague Diary. I'm running into some very tricky words, and I'm doing a fantastic job of it. Let's move on to the church. Also in Highcrest, you're going to want to enter Highcrest Church and head towards the back near the altar, and we are going to be picking up the journal entry, The Song of Eternal Vigilance. Before leaving the city of Highcrest, we're actually going to stop in the uh, back of the city, the far west side. And uh, we're going to try and climb up on the cliff that overlooks the city. This uh, hill is actually pretty easy to just walk up. And then over here, look, something shiny. I'll bring up the map one more time to show exactly where I am in case you decide to come up here from a different direction. And this is the secret stash for this zone. Picking it up will give you an achievement. Let's go back to journals. The next one we're going to pick up is in the Pox Brew Enclave. This does require quest progress in order to unlock. You'll have to do the zone story. You'll eventually be sent down into the Pox Brew Enclave. And you can pick up directives from the Widow. Next, let's ho head over to Camp Reclamation. We are looking for the Ode to Lucy by Hermit Bilvis. It's sitting on the table next to the Hermit himself. From there, we can head to the Cubig Farms in the southeastern building of the farm area, you will find Proposed Cubig Promotion Proposal. Part of the quest line in the Cubig Farms will take you into the Field Claw Hollow. This is a cave northeast of the Cubig Farm. It does not require quest progress to access, uh, and uh, but Doing the quest will take you directly to it. It is where you find the Cubig Alpha, and the journal entry was labeled I Cubig. Next, we're going to head down into the Locus Reclamation. Inside the southern building, you will find selections from the Freebot code. Also in Locus Reclamation, at the Mozik Aid Station, you will find the journal entry Doodad Jones and the Gears of Freedom. The next questing area of note is the Protostar Honeyworks. This is east of where we were, and if you go to the Honeyworks facility B34, you will find a Buzzbing Honey Extraction Protocols. North of there, in the Hive Strike Grove, in the Northwest Building, I actually think it's the only building of note in the area, uh, you will find the Hive Strike Initiative Manifesto, sitting on a bookshelf or next to a bookshelf. From there, we'll want to head down to the south to Guildgrass Manor. In the Northwest section of the fort, you will find uh, a journal entry to the citizens of Guildgrass. 
Next, in Blackheart Hollow, we are looking for Cooking with Karg, the Divine. Uh, this is a subsection of the Blackheart section of the map. The Farmer's Refuge is west of Klug's Farm, and it is, we are looking for the journal entry here, Guildgrass Province Farms Report. North of, actually, well, let's say south of the Noxious Glade, uh, you will find Indigo, Ingo Krupp's Camp, and you can pick up a popular culture periodical. Inside Klug's farm, inside Klug's panic room, which does require quest progress to access, you will find the journal entry Who's Crazy Now? by Klug the Crazed. Next, if we head to the Windfall dig site and go inside the Windfall cave, you will find Administrator Tyson's log. Next, we're going to go to Fort Glory, south of there in the Battle Blood Trench area. There is a cave labeled Maggoth's Cave, and you will find the Song of Vareth inside it. Next, Part of a quest line leading to the fires of Kelvaroth, you will pass through an underground area, and you will walk right past this ancient Osin Warhammer. You must do the quest, but you almost can't miss it. Part of that same quest line, you will eventually be led inside the fires of Kelvaroth, and in the northwest section of this map area, you will find the item labeled Gorek for Warlord. West of there, we are headed for Outpost Dawn. It is near the Transmor uh, Transmat Terminal uh, and some other quest givers and things like that. We are looking for the journal entry down by Ludo. Northwest of there, inside the Dreadplex Giant Crusher, Look on the map, this area is kind of compact, it's hard to really pin down where things are. This is on the west side, Tech Seeker Objective. The other uh, piece that we are picking up now is in the northwest and is labeled Deployment Orders, Operation Backburner. Try and use the minimap and map that I brought up to pinpoint where these are. Our final journal entry for this zone is located in the Kelvaroth staging ground. It is in the Court of the Battlesworn, and it is labeled Explorer Jogo's Log. And uh, that concludes this guide. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button to help out the channel. If you are looking for more Wildstar content, you can subscribe to the channel. That way you will be notified when new videos are uploaded. You can also follow me on Twitter, at It's Boats, where in addition to video announcements, I occasionally express opinions. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.